Hello friends, this is yet another video on metric selection and this is for uh, regression metrics in machine learning and uh, the basic three we use is mean absolute error, R square metric and mean square error. So let's see what they are and what is metric selection. So first of all, how does this metric come into picture of machine learning? First of all, these got an algorithm which trains the model. Now this algorithm which gives some accuracy to the model. This means that how good my model can predict on the unseen data. After this what happens is I want to evaluate my model's performance. I want to evaluate whether the algorithm which I'm using is good enough to go ahead with it. So what do I do is I use the metrics. Okay. And so we have got matrices for various algorithms. So we are dealing with the regression today. So metric selection we do for measuring the performance of our machine learning algorithms. This helps us to select the best algorithm and then we can further go on with this algorithm to train our model. Okay, to boost the performance, etc. Now, this helps us to understand the importance of various characteristics in results. Okay. And this is also a way to evaluate your algorithm, which algorithm is performing well in a given data set. Now, let's come to the matrices. The commonly used regression matrices are mean squared error, mean absolute error, and R squared metric. Now, we first come to mean absolute error. What does this mean? This means it is absolute, it is taking the absolute error. Okay, that means that this is the sum of absolute differences between predicted and actual values that's all and it just gives you an idea of how wrong the predictions are okay you've made you've the, you've predicted certain values and the actual values were something else and we'll look at with the with the help of an example now suppose if my model is making the mean absolute error is coming 20,000 then we know that it's a predicted price since it's a regression problem, so we go with the predicted price. Now suppose it's thousand, thousand, one thousand, okay. Now let's say it's sorry, it's hundred thousand. Then the actual price is most likely to be eighty thousand to one twenty thousand, okay. So how how is it ranging? I am taking this mean absolute error. So with this mean, it can deviate twenty to the lower side and 20 to the higher side all right if it is zero that means there's no error or my algorithm has made perfect predictions and it is just very perfect for the data so and this is the formula for this this is the total number of observations and here the absolute is this given by this mod and this is the predicted and the actual values and you subtract it and you take the mean of it okay now coming to mean squared error. Now this is something similar like mean absolute error. It also gives a rough idea of the magnitude of error. Okay, how wrong my predictions are. And we use it with various regression algorithms like linear regression, linear discriminant analysis, logistic regression. Now if we take the square root of mean squared error, we get root mean square error. Okay, so this is the formula for this. What you take is again the predicted values and the observed values. Okay, here I have used y hat, this represents predicted values, and this is yi, this is the observed, so actual and predicted. You take the square, this is mean squared error, you are just squaring this error, and if you take the root of it, you will get the root mean square. And what, what is the advantage of this? Is you are squaring the error you will get back the unit to the original form what was the of the original output okay now and why is it important because this makes sense when you're representing the data or you're describing the data okay so this is what mean square error is just take the root of it root mean square and so it just makes the data more representable next is r square metric now this is called as r squared and um, this measures how well the observed values of the response variables are predicted by the model. That means 
how how well am i predicting it is also called coefficient of determination okay and this r squared is what it is the proportion of the variance in response variable that is explained by the model so it's so just 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 uh, telling you that if it if it is 1 if it r squared is equals to 1 this means that my model is perfect fit and the variable or the predicted value can be predicted without any error so it is not giving me error if it is 1 and if it is 0 that means it is no fit the model model will give me error and it is not a perfect model okay and if this is half that means that there's half of the variance it is just giving me half the predicted values as right so so all these matrices are just telling me about how good my model is on the predicted values so r square also measures the same thing how good my model is how is it performing on the predicted values so one means perfect fit zero means no fit and r square half is that means it is giving me half the values predicted values it will predict correctly okay and generally we use Pearson product moment correlation coefficient or you can also call it as Pearson R's and this is the it is given by small r and this is give this is a formula for this okay so this is x and y predicted and observed value take sigma of it and take them individually square them and so and, right so that's all for this video and uh, thank you for watching